I hadn't intended to return to Karim Piri when I did. I was busy writing the 1979, 1989 and onwards sequence of novels. Sometimes you can't escape your fate. And my fate with that was I woke up one morning with a great idea for a story in my head. And it was inevitably a Karen Puri story because it was about a cold case. I tried to ignore it. I tried to get on with what I was supposed to be doing, but it just kept banging at the doors of my head. It wouldn't go away. Sometimes this happens. You get an idea and it won't leave you alone. And the only way to get it gone is to write it out. And so I had to give up my plans and start writing Karen Puri. I have to say it was great fun to be back with Karen and her team but it wasn't what I'd planned at all. The problem I had with Karen Perry after the previous one, Still Life, was that that ended just as lockdown began. And when lockdown came, I didn't know how to write Karen. I didn't know how to write anything, really, because all my books, one way or another, up to then, had been set in the here and now. And the here and now was changing every day. We were all living with anxiety and fear and uncertainty, and I didn't see how I could write Karen in that environment. So it felt like almost a blessing to be given a story for Karen so that I could go back to her and her team and hang out with them because frankly it's good fun. <laughs>